provision of health services to Indigenous people is a very big issue and a very primary one and a critical one right now, um, especially in Canada where the Aboriginal population is the fastest growing across the nation. And given that it's one of the most um, unhealthy populations due to a variety of colonial policies and poor health practices and different health needs, um, it's important that we address those for the potential of the population to be a very big uh, positive opportunity for the province and the nation. Approximately 10 years ago, the Canadian Institutes of Health Research Institute for Aboriginal People's Health uh, began a program to build capacity in Aboriginal health research. And the Indigenous People's Health Research Centres was one of the first centres that they funded. We are a partnership between three institutions, the University of Saskatchewan, the University of Regina, and the First Nations the University of Canada. We work with communities. We don't do research on Aboriginal people. We're always working in partnership with Aboriginal people. Aboriginal people um, physiologically have the same bodies as other humans, but the needs can be quite different just because of the socio-cultural context. So the population itself has very unique needs that need to be addressed, and those haven't traditionally been addressed by mainstream traditional research. KT, or knowledge translation, is the idea that communities should also have ownership of research. So knowledge translation is the process of how do we take the research that's done and actually translate it into meaningful outcomes, not just for researchers in academia, but also for the communities involved. And the way that that's done is researchers partner from our research centre with a community partner, say a First Nations community, and from the beginning, the researchers and the community partners might be involved in formulating the research question, the methodology, all the way through to what their desired outcomes are. Research is, is critical to affect positive change in policy because we need to learn exactly what happened historically so that we can prevent the same mistakes from happening in the future so that we will see more, more of an equal health status in the long run. IPHRC is working with the Johnson Shoyama Graduate School of Public Policy. And what we're doing is we are putting together a program, we're putting together modules to assist public policy makers in understanding the historical laws, legislation and policies that were in place that have laid the basis and the groundwork for the poor health status that we have today. There is a respect for what each will bring, but there's also an understanding that it's stronger when we, when we work together. So while that's not unique about partnerships, I think the nature of the content that we're developing is quite unique because we're going to, it's actually a shared responsibility with the faculty from Johnson Shoyama and from the centre. But there's no question in my mind that the, the, the nature of the contribution from the centre is going to make it very unique for a public policy school in Canada. We're very excited about the ability to be able to work together with some of the scholars here. It's important to work with the younger generation of Aboriginal people because they are our future and they're the largest growing segment of Canadian society. They need to be healthy, they need to have hope, they need to have opportunities. And we've got a long-standing partnership between the researchers at Concordia University in Montreal, First Nations University here, and myself at the U of R with the File Hills Capel Tribal Council Health Services. Uh, we've been working together for seven years and we've delivered workshops using theatre games and activities to over a hundred youth in that, in that area. The Aboriginal Health Th Through Leadership Project is a partnership with Fall Hills Capel Tribal Council Health Services and with uh, Indigenous Peoples Health Research. The purpose of the project, from my perspective, is to be able to provide many different opportunities for the youth in our Tribal Council. To be able to engage in different activities, to maybe work on their self-esteem a little bit, build their confidence, that sort of thing. The importance of research being community-based is that this is where it all happens. This is where you will get to see what the community looks like, the dynamics. You get to see the students in their own uh, atmosphere, their own uh, comfort. These workshops give students confidence to go and try new things.
My hopes for the future of this project, working with the youth, is, is to have those youth become healthy adults who can take their place as leaders. Um, my other hope is to expand the project. We've recently delivered a workshop in Larange, and Larange is the uh, large, second largest First Nation in the province, and quite a different culture. So if we can take our learnings from this community and expand it to others and help other kids, that would make me very happy.